Well, let's talk about this now with Charlie Winter, a researcher with the counter-extremism think tank, the Quilliam Foundation. Uh, Charlie, thanks for your time. And when you look at that jump in the figures in recent months, you, know, you immediately just think, why? What's changed? Well, the thing that's changed is Islamic State. It has a different narrative. It adds to the traditional jihadist narrative espoused by groups like Al-Qaeda, and it, it's given it a utopian edge. So people feel that by going to join the conflict in Syria and Iraq, they're not just fighting, they are going to establish a state. And for you and I, that's not a very uh, persuasive narrative, but for someone who is a, a committed jihadist, it can be very persuasive. So it's not just about the fact they're using more sophisticated mess, uh, methods to recruit, it's also the message they're using to recruit as well. Exactly. Among many jihadists, the Islamic State is seen as a doer rather than Al-Qaeda, which is seen as a thinker. So that, that's a, a very important uh, difference that's emerged over the last few months in particular. Does it co coordinate its recruitment from country to country, or is it more that it has different groupings trying to recruit in different places? The whole notion of, of recruitment is quite an ambiguous one. It's something which is decentralized and there's no structure, there's no outward structure that is uh, very easy to, to detect. But it is uh, across the world. I mean, we often hear about social media being a fundamental aspect of it and that's true. Social media is not only a place where propaganda can be circulated and the kind of narratives and messaging that IS circulates can be, can be reinforced, but it's also somewhere where you can have very easy contact peer-to-peer -peer with people who are in the region who have already joined the group. That means that it becomes easy to find out how to get to a country like Syria, routes to use, how to avoid being caught up by the, the authorities, that kind of thing. But presumably the decentralized nature of the recruitment makes it incredibly hard to combat. It certainly does. So, I mean, what is most important in all of this is to prevent rather than just react. So, we hear about people being stopped in Turkey. That's very, very important. We hear about people being brought back to the, the UK uh, or other, host, uh, other home countries. That's also very important, but this is a long-term issue. It's very important that governments look towards preventing it in the long term. So, that means the ideology. That means... Uh, the, so dismantling the ideology. That also means dismantling and dealing with the issues that render the ideology appealing. Uh, it's, it's a great many things that cause someone to find a group like Islamic State attractive and it's going to be a difficult thing to prevent but that's the key to all of this. Very useful. Charlie, thank you very much indeed. That's Charlie Winter from the Quilliam Foundation.